Ever wondered what are the top 10 tanks in the world? These steel giants, these metal beasts have been crucial in warfare since their inception, evolving from simple and light machines to large, sophisticated and highly mobile war monsters. The Cold War in particular saw a rapid evolution in their design and capabilities. Today we rank these behemoths not just by their size or their terrifying presence on the battlefield, but by three key criteria, firepower, mobility and safety. Firepower, their ability to unleash devastating attacks. Mobility, their ability to traverse different terrains and situations. And safety, the protection they offer to the brave souls operating them. These are the parameters that truly define the might of these metal beasts. Ready to gear up and explore these metal beasts? Buckle up, it's going to be a wild ride. Kicking off at number 10, we have the American Abrams M1A2. It's not just a tank, it's a Starbucks on wheels with a side order of firepower. Now the Abrams M1A2 isn't your average run-of-the-mill battle machine. Developed by General Dynamics Land Systems, this beast comes equipped with a 120mm XM-256 smoothbore cannon and not one, but two 7.62mm M240 machine guns, plus a .50 cal M2 machine gun for good measure. And if that's not enough to make you say, uncle, it's also got thick external composite armor and steel-encased depleted uranium armor for protection. With all that firepower, it's no wonder the Abrams M1A2 doesn't need to stop for a coffee break. Next up is Russia's T-14 Armada, not to be confused with the Armada, though it's just as formidable on land. This new generation main battle tank packs a punch with its 125mm 2A821M smoothbore cannon, cord 12.7mm machine gun, and PKTM 7.62mm machine gun. But it's not all about the firepower. The T-14 Armada also boasts Stanag 4569 level 5 protection and an active protection system, so it's not just tough, it's smart too. With all its protection, the T-14 Armada is like a bear in a bulletproof vest. Coming in hot at number 8, it's Israel's Merkava Men K4, the Desert Beast. This latest version of the Merkava line of main battle tanks is a true force to be reckoned with. It's packing a 120mm smoothbore gun, 7.62mm coaxial, and 12.7mm swivel-mounted machine guns not to mention a 60mm grenade launcher. Talk about being armed to the teeth! But it's not just about firepower. The Merkava MK4 boasts specific spaced armor, an advanced Elbit laser warning system, and the Trophy Active Protection System. Now, that's what I call safety measures. With all its weapons, the Merkava MK4 is the desert's answer to the Swiss Army knife. At number 7 we have the Chinese VT4, or as we like to call it, the Great Wall on Wheels. The VT4 is a third-generation Chinese tank, boasting a 125mm smoothbore gun, a remotely controlled 12.7mm anti-aircraft machine gun and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. It's not just about the firepower though, with composite and explosive reactive armor, as well as the GL5 active protection system, this tank is as tough as they come. The VT4 is like the Great Wall of China if the wall had guns and moved at 70 km per H. At number 6 we have the French Leclerc, and no it's not a type of cheese. This French main battle tank is a force to be reckoned with. It's equipped with a NATO standard CN 120-26 120mm smoothbore gun, a coaxial 12.7mm machine gun, and a roof-mounted 7.62mm machine gun. Its armor, modular, its self-protection, Galix. And when it comes to speed, it outpaces many with a top speed of 72 km per hour. With its speed and protection the Leclerc is like a snail. If the snail was packing heat and could move at 72 km per h. Taking the fifth spot, we have the British Challenger 2. It's like a cup of tea if the tea was brewed in a tank. This main battle tank is the pride of the British Army and the Royal Army of Oman. It packs a punch with a 120mm L30 charm cannon, a C-axial 7.62mm chain cannon, and a turret-mounted 7.62mm machine gun. But it's not all about firepower, the Challenger 2 also has second-generation Chobham armor for protection, and a Perkins Condor CV-12 engine that keeps it moving. The Challenger 2, because nothing says good morning like a 120mm cannon. At number 4, we have the K-2 Black Panther from South Korea. It's not a superhero, but it's close enough. The K-2 Black Panther is a force to be reckoned with armed with a 120mm smoothbore cannon and both 7.62mm and 12.7mm machine guns. 
This main battle tank doesn't skimp on protection either. It's outfitted with composite and explosive reactive armor, ensuring it can withstand even the toughest of hits. But what sets the K2 Black Panther apart is its speed and range. It can reach a top speed of 70 km per hour and has a range of 450 km. With its speed and range, the K2 Black Panther is like a cheetah on steroids. Coming in third, it's the German Leopard 2A7 Plus. It's not a big cat, but you wouldn't want to tangle with it. This beast of the battlefield sports a 120mm L55 smoothbore cannon, an FLW 200 remotely operated light weapon station, and passive armor modules. It's like the Swiss Army knife of tanks, equipped for any situation. This ironclad powerhouse isn't just about the firepower, it can reach a top speed of 72 km per hour, making it a formidable opponent on any terrain. The Leopard 2 A7 Plus, because who needs a sports car when you can have a tank? At number 2, it's the Russian T90 MS, it's like a vodka shot but with a 125mm cannon. As a modernized variant of the T90 main battle tank, this metallic beast boasts an active protection system and improved fire control systems. Its 125mm smoothbore cannon doesn't just pack a punch, it delivers a knockout. This is the tank that doesn't just participate in the battle, it defines it. The T90 MS because sometimes you need a little extra in your vodka shot. And finally at number 1, the tank to rule them all, drumroll please. Now we must pause for a moment because the suspense is just too good, can you feel it? The anticipation is like a tiger waiting to pounce, a chef about to unveil his masterpiece, a kid on the night before Christmas. Alright, enough with the suspense, the top tank, the king of the battlefield, the ultimate metal beast is… Oh did we mention how these tanks have revolutionized warfare, no? Well they certainly have. But, back to the matter at hand, the champion, the one that outshines them all is… Well, we could tell you but wouldn't it be more fun to guess? Alright alright, no more games. The ultimate tank is none other than… Wait for it. The Japanese Type 10. With its cutting-edge technology and superior firepower it's no wonder